So now I'm going to show you if you are going to need a new tone arm or not. First and foremost, you're going to need to take off your cartridge. So make sure you don't have the cartridge on. Number two, take your balance weight. Put it all the way to the back. Don't take it off, just put it all the way to the back. Number three, put your anti-skate at three. And we're gonna call, we're gonna float the tone arm and I'm gonna show you what a good tone arm is. This is what a good tone arm should do. We'll unlock the armrest, let the tone arm go. Now we're gonna go to the anti-skate and set it to zero. And you'll notice how the tone arm flows freely to the end or the middle of the uh, platter. When I go back to three on the anti-skate, it should come back to its resting position. So that is a good tone arm. So there's nothing wrong with this one, uh, balance-wise. Um, I'll also go into how to test if you have good sound coming out of the uh, tone arm connection here, but that's on a later project. Now I'm going to show you what a bad tone arm does. This tone arm, same thing. We took off the cartridge. We put the balance weight all the way to the rear without taking it off, but just as far as it'll, it'll sit. Let go. Anti-skate is at three. Now we float it to zero. And as you can see, it stays there. Uh, it should be going all the way to the end. Now watch this. If I put it over here and I adjust the three, same thing, it gets stuck. So right at this point, uh, whoever's using this turntable might have skipping issues. There are two ways we can combat this. The preferred method is to replace the entire tone arm. Uh, the other method, if you're at a gig and it's crucial that you fix this on the spot immediately, is to loosen the screw on the top here. Don't do this unless it's absolutely 100% necessary. It's an emergency situation. Once you mess with this screw, it's called a pivoting screw, it's next to impossible to get it back to way, the way it should be. Uh, these are machine calibrated screws at the factory. We don't even mess with them. Uh, it's, it's a waste of our time. It'll take us about three hours to calibrate this versus 45 minutes for me to replace this entire tone arm. So it's much cheaper to replace the tone arm than it is for me to fix it. So if you need to, once again, emergency purposes, you can loosen the screw just very lightly, like a hair of a turn, and you'll be fine. Uh, in this instance, we are going to go ahead and replace the tone arm on this unit.